Extra Minutes. How will it affect us? Well, it's interesting that the two air masses in the northern and southern hemisphere do not tend to mix at the equator. So if there's another huge accident, and the past accident, it really only contaminates the northern hemisphere. However, about 300 to 400 tonnes of intensely radioactive water are pouring into the Pacific every day and have been for the last three years since the accident occurred. That's an extraordinary amount of contaminated yep. water. Yep. And they can't stop it. And I'll explain why in a minute. So the ocean currents is a current that actually flows straight from Fukushima to the west coast of America. And the plume is about to hit the west coast, Vancouver, some of the salmon in Alaska already have radiation from Fukushima all the way down. So it'll hit around Seattle in March and then California later in the year. And the current then goes all the way around South America to us. Okay, so that's the first thing. But the second thing is the fish. The fish swim thousands of miles, not necessarily related to currents. And because of the bioconcentration in the food chain, for instance, the algae concentrate the radioactive elements 10 hundreds of times, and then the crustaceans eat the algae, similar, little fish, big fish, and we stand at the apex of the food chain. So when you catch a fish down here, and here we are right on the Pacific in a little fishing village, um, you can't taste, smell, or see the radiation. So you can't denote where a specific cancer was incurred. What you're saying is none of us are immune to what happened in Japan. No. We can't, even though we, we live thousands well, of miles away. Well, and also away. we still import food from Japan, probably. No one should be eating miso soup or seaweed. Um, I don't know if our government is now testing food being imported from Japan, but it should be. It is testing food coming from Europe because 40% of Europe is radioactive and will be for hundreds of years. So I spoke to the man who tests the food in Melbourne, but I don't know what they're doing about the Japanese food. Certainly, Hillary Clinton signed a deal just after Fukushima with the Japanese to say that they would continue importing Japanese food.